right, fans. We're back with more wrestling action, including more ECW championship matches here, especially the World Tag Team Championship titles. This is, a, this, this is the second of three tag team title defenses in this broadcast. Super Squad, El Guapo, and Lawless. Legendary duos. They've been going, they have been roaming the streets. They have been plowing through the tag team circuit here on No Mercy for a couple of months now, fans. And tonight, they get to meet Fortune Enterprises. Steve Fortune and Tommaso Don Capelli. We hope you are you we hope you are enjoying uh, our broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of surprises that have happened here and we're just about halfway through our pay-per-view event. Still to come, big main event for the Universal Championship, Joe Bruiser, Brandon the Wolfman Wolf. Epic main event to come, fans. And even the tables, ladders, and chairs match for those Tornado Tag Team titles. But now, fans, the capacity crowd watching on for the ECW World Tag Team titles, the Super Squad, Fortune Enterprises.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the uh, silence, uh, but I'm just absolutely in shock, fans, as to what has happened tonight. So much activity, so much has happened in the last two, almost two and a half hours. A new ECW World Champion has been crowned. All these injuries. I still can't believe what Dean Ambrose did. I don't know what happened. I don't know where that came from. Why he did that. But I'm hoping that we're going to get some news. And we understand, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, Jim Rebel actually paid off the police. He is no longer arrested, but he is going to be on, in rehabilitation. He's going, to get his, he's, he's going to get examined. And I think he's going to be staying away from the ring uh, much longer than we expected, fans. Jim Rebel is absolutely... I have no idea what happened, fans. I am. I am just. I don't know what to say. I'm just. At, I'm just shocked right now. If 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 my coworker, if my color commentating team were here tonight, I'm sure they would have something very, very, very uh, in, important to say. You know. What's the mental capacity? What's the condition? What's, what, what goes into the minds of these superstars? What happens when you have an, a head injury? I mentioned Chris Benoit's name earlier. And all I can think of is that if you suffer from brain damage, I think that you will do so many things without even you even knowing it. Not even you ha knowing how strong you can be. You saw the footage, fans, for yourself. Check it out. Rewatch the footage. It's available on YouTube. It's all on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in this uh, hardcore matchup here, this extreme rules, quote unquote, extreme rules. We got trash cans, of course, the steel steps. It's anything. It's, it's anything goes. But uh, hats off to Carry Ortega tonight, winning his very first championship match here tonight El Guapo holding on to his dear life here from that cross face oh my goodness I smell new tag team champions say hey, wait a second holding on to the ring ropes we've got new ECW World Tag Team Champions! Ah, oh, this is great. This is great. Watch this, fans. Watch this. We saw a Uranagi on the outside, but a pile driver holding on to the ropes. Does this wreak con uh, controversy or what? Look at this moment. Look at this moment. Look at the face of Steve Fortune. That is a look, ladies and gentlemen. That is a face. <laughs> Holy Mac. And look at uh, T Tommaso Capelli. They are they are beside themselves, ladies and gentlemen, in the THQ Arena in this World Tag Team Championship match scheduled World Tag Team Championship match, fans. But congratulations to Steve Fortune, Tommaso Capelli, a man who hasn't won any championship gold since his arrival here four years ago. Standing by right now, ladies and gentlemen, with our senior correspondent, Rick Rocker, is the challenger, the man that never lost the East, the FPW Universal Championship. I'm referring to Brandon Wolf. 